Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my Blu-ray DVD update. So I only bought a few movies from Target. Of course, we're going to start off with the one that everyone has been anticipating to buy. It just released on April 5th, 2016, so I got to buy it on the first day. And that movie is Star Wars The Force Awakens. Let's see if you, can, if you guys can get a good look because I know the glaring can get really distracting. So yes, I bought this edition of Star Wars The Force Awakens. It was $19.99 and yeah, I'm very happy with how this looks. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys, my original plan was for me to buy the Target exclusive packaging edition. I was going to buy that because I really like the cover. I think it looks so beautiful. But then I watched a couple of unboxings on this and I was very very disappointed with how it was packaged you know I like the inside with having the characters but just how they place the discs and all that I honestly wasn't a fan and it honestly disappoints me that it's even that thin because that cover looks so awesome so sadly I wasn't able to get the original edition I wanted but I went ahead and bought the one with the fonts where you have the characters inside the fonts and honestly it's really cool I really like it when you go on the inside let's go ahead and take a look it is the black ray yeah I guess that's what you could call it it is the black ray um, yeah can you guys see a little bit all right let's have this focused but yeah, it's the movie poster when the movie came out, and I honestly really like it. And it honestly looks really cool. I like that this is a black Blu-ray. It's honestly very nice. It's kind of like when they did those red Blu-ray cases for, like, Avengers Age of Ultron or Birdman. That was very cool, and that's really nice that they did this for Star Wars The Force Awakens. So, Star Wars The Force Awakens, honestly, I really enjoyed this movie. I had a lot of fun with it. It pretty much gave me what I wanted from a Star Wars movie. Unfortunately, I was only able to see it once in the theater, but you know what? I'm looking forward to rewatching this movie because when I saw it in the theater on opening night, I caught it like, I believe it was like a 7.30 or 8 o'clock showing um, when I went to go see this on Friday, December the 17th. It was just really great to be back in this world again. J.J. Abrams did a beautiful job directing this movie. Cinematography is gorgeous. The visual effects look amazing. How they're able to blend most of the visual effects like with practical effects with some CGI here and there. It was honestly very impressive with how they achieved visual effects and Star Wars The Force Awakens. Daisy Ridley kicks ass as Rey. A lot of charm and a lot of emotion to her character. She was a very strong female lead. John Boyega was great as Finn. He was really funny. The comic relief. Love BB-8. Oscar Isaac was great as Poe. Of course it's great to see Harrison Ford back as Han Solo. It's great to see Chewbacca again. It's great to see Carrie Fisher as now General Leia. No longer Princess Leia. She's now General Leia. And honestly it's just pretty amazing how they built up this world. It really did bring what Star Wars was all about and I have to give huge credit to J.J. Abrams and everyone and I really do mean everyone that was involved in this project because you can tell so much hard work and so much passion went into this movie. So I'm definitely very happy to own Star Wars The Force Awakens now. It was $19.99 at Target, which I think is a really great price considering you have a cool slip cover that has the Blu-ray and DVD and the digital HD code that I could add to my Voodoo collection. And plus you have a lot of bonus features in this film like it says that it has Secrets of the Force Awakens, The Story Awakens, The Table Read, Building BB-8. Oh, that's that's one I want to really watch. Crafting Creatures, Blueprint of a Battle, John Williams, The Seventh Symphony, The Visual Magic of the Force, plus deleted scenes. Star Wars The Force Awakens, I think it's solid. It's a solid, very entertaining movie, and I'm very happy to be owning it. But, 
Star Wars The Force Awakens isn't the only movie I got from Target. I did buy a couple of others. The next movie I've really been wanting to buy since it released on Blu-ray. I just haven't had the time until now. And that is my favorite animated movie of 2015. And that is the Peanuts movie. I absolutely love this movie, guys. Like, you have no idea how much I love the Peanuts movie. Yeah, 2015 was a great year for animated movies. You know, like, the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, that was a good movie. Hotel Transylvania 2, that was a good movie. Inside Out, Shaun of Sheep movie, The Good Dinosaur, those were really great movies. But of all the animated movies, this one really takes home the cake with me. This movie respects the source material of Charlie Brown so well because I did grow up with the Charlie Brown cartoons. I love the characters. I always love to watch the holiday specials. This movie not only delivered what a Charlie Brown movie should be, but just delivered everything an animated movie needs. Humor, check. Charm, check. Heartwarming scenes, check. Great animation, check. Great characters, check. Great storyline, check. It may be basic, but it was a very, very well-told storyline. It's the definition of a charming, heartwarming, joyful, animated movie that just puts a big old smile on my face. And the fact that it's rated G honestly makes it even better because it's very rare that we get a rated G movie. And you know, for them being in 3D animated form, they actually looked really great. I really loved how the characters look in the 3D animated form, but also staying true to the hand-drawn style that the cartoons are known for. Like, it has some scenes of doing that, and I really like that. I am so happy to own this movie. It was $22.99 at Target. And even the pop music that they play in here, like Megan Trainor's Better When I'm Dancing, or Flo Reed does What I Like About You song, you know, those surprisingly actually fit this movie. Now the last movie is a movie I've been wanting to buy for a while, but the stores haven't had copies for a DVD copy for this movie. That movie is Ant-Man. Yeah, I've been wanting to get Ant-Man, but unfortunately, since they don't have a Blu-ray DVD combo pack, like with Star Wars and the Peanuts movie, I wanted to get just the DVD, but every time I went to Target these last couple of times, they never had it. So I was happy to run into this because I've been wanting to own Ant-Man for a while. I think it's a good, solid, entertaining Marvel film. I really enjoyed this movie. It's very funny. Um, it's very simplistic, but it's a good kind of simplistic. It's the definition of just having a fun time with the superhero movie. It's not trying to be anything bigger because you know Ant-Man is small and when you have a small superhero you gotta go basic and I think the basic storytelling really did work for this movie I really like the characters Paul Rudd really killed it as Ant-Man he's great in this movie he's very funny he still has that Paul Rudd charm that we all know and love and honestly I think it works because I think Paul Rudd is easily one of the most likable actors working today so to see him actually have his time to be a superhero it's so awesome Michael Douglas is great here Evangeline Lilly is great here Michael Pena oh my gosh so funny in this movie he's really great Michael Pena you know it's really great to see him in this movie uh, just brilliant casting all around and the action scenes although it's not an action-packed movie but when the action was there it was a whole lot of fun. And the finale is by far one of the funniest finales I've seen in the movie in a while. It was just great. And I really give credit where credit is due because Peyton Reed, you know, for him being new to the whole blockbuster phase, I thought he did a really good job directing this blockbuster. It was just a very fun time. I've been wanting to rewatch it ever since I saw it in the theater. It was just really cool to see a small superhero movie because you know like I said it's a basic movie but it's a whole lot of fun and that's Ant-Man it's just a fun basic superhero film that's highly entertaining oh yeah by the way this one is 1999 I forgot to mention that 
So you guys, that is my Blu-ray DVD update. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So of course, in the comments down below, you guys, let me know what did you think about Star Wars The Force Awakens, the Peanuts movie, and Atman. I do plan to film both unboxings for Star Wars The Force Awakens and the Peanuts movie on the universe of the Blue Tubers channel. And I will leave annotations somewhere where I can lead you guys to my unboxings for Star Wars The Force Awakens and the Peanuts movie. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. You are all very awesome. I always appreciate your guys' support. This is Tony, aka 22 Tiger Dude here. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power. And may the Force with you.